Hey guys! Um, we are coming to you live today to tell you a little bit about something new that we're going to be trying and doing. Um, we are saying bye bye to Google Classroom and we are moving to a new platform called Canvas. Um, eventually, Canvas is going to be a lot easier for us to use and it will be a little bit of a learning curve, but we are here for you all day, every day and we are going to help you get through everything. So, so now your assignments are not gonna be through Google Classroom. You're gonna go into Canvas and Ms. Johnston is gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to get to Canvas. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our Google Chrome. This is how we're gonna get there. If you already have a tab open, you can enter a new tab. Some of you have the CMS welcome page as a bookmark. If you do, you can click there. If not, you can Google CMS home page. When you get to the CMS home page, it's this one called Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. You click here. Give your internet a second to load. Don't call us and say it's white. Wait a second and just wait patiently. Look at there. Once we're here, we're gonna kind of pretend like we're doing the iStation test. It's a little bit different though, so pay attention. Oh, here we are again, Miss Austin. Bye. You're going to click on students right here. Once your student portal opens, you're going to scroll down. And instead of clicking on PowerSchool, you're going to click on the button that says Canvas right here. You're looking for the red circle that says Canvas. Click. All right, here is where it's going to be a little bit different. Normally, we would click on scan your student QR code, but since you don't have them, we're going to use our same number that we log into the computer. Do not use the number I'm about to type in because it's probably not you. We are going to use a student's login so that you guys can see what a student will see. There's one. All right, once you get your ID typed in, just like the one you type in to log in, you click go, and then your password is going to be your normal password. Capital C-M-S-X-2-0-2-9. Once that's typed in, you press go. Which is going to bring you to the page that we usually go to iStation. But remember, we're not going to iStation today. This is how we get to our new platform called Canvas. It's the very first button on most of your screens. Look for the red circle that says Canvas. When you're here, you're gonna see your different classrooms that you're a part of. So this student in particular has Ms. Johnston's classroom and math classroom. So Johnston would be reading, read, and Austin would be math, okay? I'm gonna pass the computer to Miss Austin and she's gonna walk you through what you're gonna see inside each classroom, okay? Okay, so if you were deciding to do your math first, um, I'm gonna go ahead and click on where it says math for Miss Austin. And again, like Ms. Johnson said, give it a second. Sometimes it loads nice and slow, so you just gotta be very patient. All right, so this is my welcome to third grade math page. If you scroll down a little bit, it has six different buttons. And each of these buttons, when you click on them, takes you to a different page. And I'm gonna walk you through each of them, okay? So if you scroll down, I'm gonna start at the bottom down here. Um, 
with science. Right now, there is nothing to click on when you click on science. Um, the teachers are working really hard to get science lessons for you, but right now, if you click on science, nothing is going to happen, okay? Um, but the next one up is this purple button that says need more help. And then it says Espanol, hablo, si, okay? Um, this is if you speak Spanish and you need more help or if your mom needs to talk to somebody who speaks Spanish, you can click on this. And it is going to take you to Miss Sour Wine's contact information. You have her cell phone number here that your parents or you can call her and talk in Spanish. And you have her email address that you can email her in Spanish. Please be sure to be mindful. Do not call people at past 6 o'clock p.m. Like we are getting ready for bed and have families of our own, okay? Text if it's late at night. So if you click on this page but you didn't mean to or you're ready to go back to my math homepage, over here where it says home is always the place where you can go back to my math page, okay? Um, so if I click on home, it takes me back to the page that we were just at with the six buttons. So I'm going to scroll down again. And... Um, the next button that there is is this yellow button that says special. So we still want you to be able to have your art special, music, PE, science. Um, so if you click on this, it takes you to another page with all of the specials listed for you. The specials teachers right now are working on putting links in here for you guys. So the PE video may be a video for you to do some exercises, an art video, um, maybe something for you to draw. So they are working on that, but right now it does not have anything. Um, so check back every day and you can see if there's something uploaded for all of your different specials. So if I wanna go back to my home page, I'm gonna go over here and press the home button again. And it takes me to my third grade math page. Okay, so we've done science, need more help, specials, and now we're at the contact me page. So again, if you um, need to contact Ms. Austin about math, you would click on this. I know most of your parents have our numbers, but just in case mom is at home and you have your sister's number or your phone, you can have, um, you can text us or call us, call me on my number right here. Okay, but like Ms. Johnson said, y'all don't need to be calling us at 10 p.m., Stick to normal school hours for contacting us, okay? Now to go back, you press the home button. And you scroll on down to the next button. And this gives us our daily schedule. So um, some of you guys like to stick to a schedule and maybe wake up and you think, okay, what to do next? So we typed up um, a schedule that you can follow. You don't have to follow it, but... Um, it's just a suggested schedule for you during this time, okay? So you can look through it. It has the times down here, and then it has what special you can do um, on each day, okay? Um, and down here, it tells you our Google Meet times, which is Tuesdays at 11 a.m. and Thursdays at 5 p.m. So what we suggest is just 45 minutes for math, and then take a little break. 45 minutes for reading, take a little break. And then whichever specials for that day. So today is Monday, and you can go look at the PE site if it were up. Um, and then take a little 15-minute break. And all of your classes will be done by 11 a.m., which is still very early in the morning. And it's before we're usually done with all of our work. So I know some people have been saying it was a lot of work, but it's really much less than your usual school day. Okay? So if I want to go back... I'm going to press the home button. And the most important button on this whole math homepage is your assignments button. Okay, it is the first one in bright green. And this is what where you're going to go every single day to complete your math assignments. So if you click on this, the first thing that it tells you is which week it is. Okay, so today is April 6th. So that falls in the April 6th week. And then it even tells you Monday, April 6th. So since today is April 6th, you're going to click on Monday. 
And when you click on it, it gives you a step-by-step -step, um, instructions on what you are doing today. So you're going to read over your objective, which is your I can statement. And you're going to read over an overview, which again tells you step-by-step -step what you are doing today in math. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through today's. Um, you're watching the video right now, so that is number one. So if you're watching it, awesome. Number two says, let's chat. And then it says, click here to go to our chat. So I'm going to click here. I'm following my directions. And it took me to this discussion or chat post, okay? All it's asking you is, did you get here? Do you understand Canvas, okay? It says, comment below anything you would like. You can say hello. You can tell a joke. Um, but it just is going to tell me that you made it to my math site. So in order to reply, you go down to this button that says reply and you click on it. And then a text box is going to come up. Let it load. And you can click and you can start typing. Hi, Miss Austin. I made it here. I love math. Okay. And once you press post reply down here, it is going to send it to me, okay? When you do this on your own, you can play around with the bold and change the colors. You can have fun with it while you are um, looking around today. Okay, I'm gonna cancel this, but you would press post reply. If I wanna go back, I need to go back to my assignment because this was only number two. If you wanna press this button that says modules, that's the same thing as our assignments. It is a quicker way to take you back to your assignments, okay? If you want to press home, that'll take you back there, and you can press assignments from there too. So I'm going to go back in because I've only done number one and number two, and I'm going to scroll down. It says math assignment. This is where you will click on the math assignment for the day. It is not underlined, so that means you can't click on it. You don't have a math assignment today. All we want you to do today is get into Canvas and do this chat right here, okay? We don't want you to do any math today because we want you to make sure that you're getting into this new platform. Um, after you finish number one, number two, and number three, you can go here for a brain break before you go over to reading, and it's a go noodle. So if you press this play button, it's super small, and I know that we like, we're used to it being big on our screen, so you can press this button right here and make it full screen. And you can do your milkshake, um, go noodle, and press play and dance to that. After you are finished with all four of these tasks, then you can go on over to reading. And Ms. Johnston is going to show you how to get from your math to your reading. All right, guys. So um, you just finished all of your math activities for the day and you need to go to reading. So the very first thing you're going to click on is this courses tab. This courses tab, courses is just a fancy word for classes. So this takes you back to all the classes that you have. So you just were in math and now you're going to go back to ELA, which means English language arts, Johnston. This is, I'm your reading teacher, so you click on me. Once you get here, it looks very similar to Miss Austin's page. We wanted to make it very easy and simple for you to understand. So, um, mine says, welcome to third grade reading. Now, here are my six buttons for reading. You'll notice that one of them is different than the others. So, we have a specials button, just like Miss Austin had, that takes us to the specials page. You have Miss Sourwine's button that takes you to somebody who speaks Spanish. This is a new button. Now, we don't have anything in this button yet, but come Monday, well, today, if you want to explore and click on it, it's going to take you to the videos for Charlotte's Web. So the teachers are still working hard trying to get that together for you. Then there's the contact me with the phone, which means if you click on contact me, it's going to take you to my contact page where it has my phone number and my email address, just like Miss Austin and Miss Sourwines. I'm going to click on home to get back to my normal page. 
If all else fails, if you get lost in here, just always click back on home. Then your daily schedule button is the exact same as the one in Miss Austin's room. And then once again, your most important button is assignments. This is going to take you to your reading assignments. You click on assignments. And this is what it will eventually look like when you have multiple assignments. So today is Monday. You'll click Monday, April 6th. And here you'll have your reading objective. We'll read over it in our, in our videos on our days we're actually learning. And then your overview. This is step by step what you need to do. So just like Miss Austin's tasks, you're going to follow in order. You would click here for the video, but you're already watching it. And then you would click Let's Chat. You'll go back to our chat room. And it's very important. Yes, it's the same activity that you just did for math, but I need to know that you made it to reading too. So comment below anything. You'll hit your reply. And you can say, Oop, I gotta wait for it. Miss Johnston, I made it to reading too. This is awesome. And like Miss Austin said, we can play with it. You can color it, make it fun. I'm gonna pick my favorite color and I'm done. So I was gonna click post reply, but I'm not gonna click it because I wanna know you made it there. So I'm gonna cancel, but you're gonna click post. Then we're gonna go back home because we're not done with our list of things to do today. And remember Miss Austin gave us that hint that we can click on modules too. Back to assignments, back to Monday. All right, the next thing here would be, normally your reading assignment would be here, but just like math, we don't have a reading assignment today. The only thing we need you to do is make sure you respond to our chat, okay? So then here you would normally click on your reading assess assignment, and then you have another brain break for reading before you move on to specials. So once again, you'd click play, you make it big, and then you can do your Go Noodle for the day. So that's kind of a wrap up of what our classrooms are going to look like. Once you finish all four of these things today in reading and math, you can go back home and you can click on anything you'd like and explore, okay? I'm waiting for it to load. So you can click on all these different things yourself. Just make sure you get both of our chats done today. Oops, sorry, we're trying to let you see us again. But that's all we have for you today. Please make sure that if you have any questions Please call us, text us, FaceTime us. Um, we are here to help you all day. And um, we can't wait to see all your awesome responses. Miss you. We love you.